that person is already setting himself up for problems. After all, any human expression, including popular media, is in its core an act of generosity, an act of love for others, a form of self-giving. No great work can ever arise from people who come to media, not to give, but to take. We at ABS-CBN are a family of people who truly care to serve our audience over and above the paycheck. It is the family relationship that keeps them loyal. But relationships do not happen overnight. The Filipino requires a courtship period. We may be the 21st century, pero pareho pa rin ang Pinoy. Dapat magpakilala ka. Manligaw, manildihan, at baka sakali, patutuloyin ka sa bahay nila. In ABS-CBN, we call our relationship with our audience as constant courtship. Isang walang hanggang pagsuyo. We do not feel entitled to their appreciation. We must constantly earn it. We mind our manners, we stay humble, we are careful not to betray their love. Our constant courtship is the product of a solid backbone of research. Research that is comprehensive and razor sharp, with room for nuance and gut feeling. Modesty aside, we are probably the most research-guided media organization in Asia with more than 100 focus groups and surveys conducted every year. Kaya ang audience namin, parang kausap lang namin ng harap-harapan. What do I love to you? Let me count the ways nga. Kissing na my love. Umbagang kay ganda na. Hindi po siya nag-iisa. Original! Original! Umbagang kay ganda! Thank you, my love. Ito ba? Ang sapal si tatay. Pinasada na niya ang jeep. Alam mo naman tatay mo, una sa balita, una sa public service. Ito pa ako eh. Alam ko, kasi isa lang TV niyo sa bahay. Hinihintay mo pa ang turn mo makapanood ng bandila para malaman mo kung may pasok. Umuulan kasi, pero alam ko kahit may baha dyan sa malabon, susukong ka sa baha. Kaya hanga ako sa'yo. May pangarap ka na balang araw, hindi mo na titiparin ang sasya ng kape. Hindi ka na makikipag-share ng noodles. Ay! Ligo na ako! Oh, pati shampoo. Baka tiparin mo. Pero alam ko, mahalaga naman sa'yo ang hair mo. Baka sakaling mga pag-asawa ng mayaman. Joke! <laughs> Tayo lang, hindi ako magmukhang kawawa sa friends ko. Pero sa ganda mo, lagi ka nasisikulan ng mga tricycle driver. Hindi pa ako hindi magka-boyfriend. Alam ko. Kasi tumutulo ka pag-aralan si Bunso. At nahiya ka sa nanay mong OFW ngayon sa Singapore. Alam natin na may laman ang balikbayang box na yan. Kasi ang nanay mo, sobrang nagtipid doon. Pati to ni Faye for Ata, tinipid para ipadala dyan. Buti na lang ni TFC doon. Parang hindi siya masyado mong homesick. Diyan talaga ako hanga sa pamilya niyo. Nilalampasan lahat ng pagsubok. Ang nanay mo, walang pinag-iba kay Cherry Pie Pikachi na laging martir para sa pamilya. Pero mahalay mo, ikaw pa lang nawawalang prinsesa ng yan doon. Pero kahit karaniwang tao ka lang, pwede ako mag-sample ng showtime. Oh, makaswerte sa game show. Huwag ka muna mag-deal. 5,000 pa lang offer ni Banker. Pwede na yun! Para matanggal ang stress mo sa trabaho, ito, pwede ka magbasa ng ABS-CBN Magazine. Makinig sa FM. Dahil gusto mo talaga, good and morning small! Mag-internet cafe. Oh, pinamura pa ang CD ha, para huwag kang bumili ng pirated. Naku, may breaking news. Magsasara na daw ang pinapasukan mong factory. Hindi dahil gusto mo, makukuha mo. Dapat, no other woman. Gagawin!
Magkakasama tayo sa kapamilya, laging happy ending ang inyong pamilya. Now you may ask, how does this substantial body of study on the Filipino persona translate when we make the move from broadcast to broadband. Noong una, I was apprehensive as you. After all, our generation of broadcasters trace its genesis from the explosion of media right after the EDSA revolution. After EDSA, the online upsurge is the closest we have to another media revolution. This revolution can be labeled the rise of the digital native. Ilan po ba sa atin dito ang digital natives? Magtaas po ng kamay. Fatay. <laughs> pare pare tayong digital immigrants. Baka mayroon pa sa inyong nagre-resist sa online. Tahinig. Ibig sabihin, totoo. <laughs> Ang tawag din dyan, technophobe. Naku, kailangan po humabol tayo. Sino, ilan po ba sa inyo ang may Twitter account? Fatay. Ayan, ilan po? Ayan. Ano pong tinitweet ninyo? Ay, hindi nyo ginagamit. May Twitter account, pero hindi nyo alam gamitin. Nako, pagkatapos po ng speech ko, mag-aaral tayo yung sabay-sabay. <laughs> Ilan sa inyo ang may Facebook account? Wow. Madami po ba kayong friends? Ilan po ang friends ninyo? Mga 200. Kailangan po by the end of this uh, seminar, madoble. <laughs> Mauubos ang oras? Ay, nako, eh, ang mga kabataan ngayon, kung mag-multitas, gano'n na lang, ano, ang dami-daming gadget na gadgets, sabay-sabay. Tapos, parang hindi nawawala ang focus. Ay, siguro yung mga apo natin, iba na, paglaki talaga. Ilan na po ba ang may apo sa inyo? Kakaunti pa, ang daming pagets dito. <laughs> Ako po, dalawa na. <clears throat> Sino ang may Instagram? Pinterest. Sino ang nagsya-shopping online? Naku, wala nga amin. <laughs> Zalora. Pero si, ah, na, naabutan niyo yung easy call at saka pocket bell. Ayan. <laughs> Medyo ano na, nabuhay ang kwarto. <laughs> Mga panahon natin. So in case po you are not conversant on everything online, don't worry, hindi po kayo nag-iisa. I remember a real incident with a kindergarten teacher. Pinatawag niya ang ina ng isang pupil. Mrs., bakit pag pinapagalitan ko ang anak ninyo, ang ginagawa niya sa akin ganito? Binabastos ba niya ako? So sabi ng nanay, Anak, bakit mo naman ginagano si teacher? Bad yun. Sabi ng anak, at ba doon, mami? Masuhit si teacher, so nililipat ko lang siya ng page. <laughs> so you see, we are all rushing to learn what the next generations know as their reality. And we are excited to be there in the middle of the action because for ABS-CBN, the future of broadband is very, very bright. 
we are gearing up to drive nationwide broadband penetration ourselves. So what trends do we see? Here are a few I would like to share. Alongside the explosion of personal content, the truly profitable ones online will be the ones with a critical mass to make their brand rise above the online clutter. Therefore, the tendency will initially be fragmentation, then consolidation of brands online. We have seen this happen abroad, the most common of which is Facebook partnering with select services. ABS-CBN will be there for you in terms of alliances and partnerships to bring your broadband vision to reality through our strength of resources and economies of scale. Another mega shift from broadcast to broadband is the blurring of lines between consumer, creator, and investor. Online, with user-generated content, the consumer